Hi there guys, so welcome to this, the fourth part in the mini-series about moving data to, from and inside an Unraid server. And in this video, we're going to be looking at something called a root share, which is basically just one master share that will contain all of the data on the Unraid server. So if setting up and using one share to rule them all sounds interesting, then let's get started. So normally on our Unraid servers, we just create individual shares which we can access over the network. And the Unassigned Devices plugin even lets us create shares when we plug in an external disk such as a USB hard drive. And for most use cases, this works really well and we don't need anything else. However, when we want to move data from one share to another, or maybe from an unassigned disk into a share, this is where we can really see its limitations. And I spoke about this in the first part of the series, but for those who haven't seen that, let me rewind. Also, think of a situation where you might have an existing NAS, and you want to transfer the data from that to the new Unraid server. And you've got your laptop. Now normally you log into the NAS with your laptop and transfer files to and from. So you're thinking, well, I can log into the NAS on the laptop and transfer the data to the new server. Now yeah, okay, this would actually work, but it's certainly not the best way to do it. Because remember, the data isn't going straight from the NAS to the Unraid server. It's going across via the network to the laptop first and kind of stopping off there, and then onto the Unraid server. So it's kind of like when you get a flight somewhere, and it's not a direct flight, and you've got a stop over somewhere else. The direct route is always the more efficient and fastest way. And in fact, we can also have a similar situation when using our desktop PC or laptop when we want to move data from one share to another. So say we've got two map network drives on our Windows PC to two separate shares on the Unraid server, and you've decided you want to move a file from one share to another. Now again, it's not a direct route. It's going via the laptop and then back to the server to the other share. So not as fast as it would be if it just physically moved from one share to the other. So yes, as we've seen in the earlier videos, we can move stuff from unassigned disk to the shares and from share to share using tools on the server like Crusader. But we can also do it directly from our PC if we use a root share. So let's use a root share now and transfer some data from an unassigned disk into a share. Now before we set up the root share, it's important that when we do, that it's going to be secure. So we need to make sure that we've got a user set up on Unraid with a username and password which we'll use to connect with. So using the root share we can pretty much connect to anything on the server whether it's a mounted on a signed disk or just copying things from various shares to share. To be able to create the root share the first thing we're going to have to do is to stop the array. So with the array stopped we want to go to settings and then SMB here and what we're looking at here is this SMB extras part here. Now you can see there's some text already here which has been created by the Unassigned Devices plugin. Now we've got to leave that here, we don't want to touch that at all, but we want to put some text above it, which you can see here. So let's go through this and see how it's constructed. So on the first line in the brackets, we can see the name of the share. I've called mine root share, but you can call it whatever you want. And the line underneath is the location where we're going to connect the share. So the path equals points to the location here it's forward slash MNT forward slash. Now if you remember earlier in the video when we talked about how the Unraid file system works, you'll remember that the location forward slash MNT is where all the Unraid disks and shares can be found. So that's the location I'm going to mount to now. So that will give me access to all of the disks, all of the user shares, everything from one place or from one share. So next, the line underneath, we can put a comment there if we want to. I just leave it always blank. Then browsable should be set to equals no. Then underneath this, under secure, this is where we're setting up the security. We don't want this to be a public share, so public should be set to equals no. And because this isn't a public share, we need to specify the valid users. And so that's the secure user we've set up on Unraid. For me, the user is going to be Ed. Now the next line is just whether the share is writable or not. Just leave that as yes. And also the last line, leave it as is. Now you'll find this text in the description if you want to copy and paste it. 
So adjust it to your needs and then paste it on the very top line above everything else. So with that done, we just want to scroll down, click apply and then click on to done. OK, so that's the root share all set up. So now all we need to do now is just to restart up the array and then the share will be ready. OK, good. So now what I'm going to do is I've got this unassigned device here. So I'm going to mount this because I want to be able to copy from this in a moment. This is my Windows 10 drive that you saw earlier. So now with the drive mounted, let's go across onto the Windows machine and then connect to this share. So I'm going to go down to the Windows search box here and type Credential Manager and click onto that. And from here, I'm going to click onto Windows Credentials and then click Add a Windows Credential. Now what this will do is allow me to tell Windows whenever it connects to the server to automatically connect using a certain username and password. So obviously I'm going to choose the username and password that I created with the share. So under internet or network address, we put the name of the server. We can also put the IP of the server as well. We can use either and then put in the username and the password that you use for your user and click on to OK. Now I'm going to quickly add a second credential just so I can add the server using the actual IP address as well. So that way, whatever way I connect to the server, it will always use this username and password. Right, OK, so we can close the window now. And now let's open Windows File Explorer and click on to this PC. Then at the top here, click on to Computer and then on to Map Network Drive. And then here in the box where it says Folder, we need to put two backslashes and then we can put the name or if we'd rather, we can put the IP address of the server and then another backslash and then the name of the share. So here is the name root share. With that done, just click on to finish and Windows will connect us straight into the share. So now from this share, we can see everything in the server, all of the disks, the unassigned disks, the unraid shares, and even any remotely connected shares to unraid. So as the little Space Invader monster here is trying to tell us, we should never try and copy or move data between the disks of the array, and that includes the cache drives, and move or copy that data into a share. Now this is because the shares are made up of multiple folders that can span multiple disks. So if we try and move data directly from one of the array disks into a share, or vice versa, this could cause us to lose data. So we should only move data between shares, or move data between disks, but not a mixture of the two. Oh yeah, and it's fine to move data from unassigned disks to either array disks or to shares. That's going to be fine. And this rule doesn't just only apply to using a root share, it applies to any time you move data on the Unraid server. OK, so I'm going to open two Explorer windows side by side into this same share to kind of make it a bit like Crusader. Now I'm going to open up the folder disks, which contains the unassigned disks. Here's the Win10 disk that's plugged into the server. So now I'm going to go into the Users folder and then into the Ed folder. Then into this folder here, the Videos folder. Then in here I've got some movies in this folder here. So there's 79 gigs of movies here and I want to copy, well actually move them from that unassigned disk into the shares on Unraid which is in this user folder here and I want to put them in the movie share. So basically I'm just going to select all of the movies and just cut and paste them over across into the movie share. Now because this is moving the files from the unassigned disk on the Unraid server to the movie share on the Unraid server, and it's 79 gigs, it's going to take a little while. So let's speed it up and then come back. Right, so all of those movies have now copied across into the movie share. And if we go across onto the Unraid server and go to the shares tab, if I look at the movie share, we can see them from here as well. Now, so moving these files across from the unassigned disk onto the main Unraid array, obviously this took a little bit of time because it was copying from disk over to disk. But when we use the root share to move folders from different shares that are actually on the same disk, then this is much, much quicker. We can see here that the movie share is just located on disk two. So if I create a new share now, let's call it test. And I don't want to have the cache pool news for new files. And I also put it on disk two so now both the movie share and the test share is on the same disk. And now if we go back to our Windows PC and select all of the movies in the movie share, then cut them, then in the root share, just browse to the Unraid shares and then to the test share, and then paste the movies here. 
and this time the move is instantaneous. So using a root share to copy files from one location to another is much faster than if you have two separate shares mapped and copy it on the PC that way. Now just one word of warning before we move on and we look at Midnight Commander. Now when using a root share, we've got to be careful because we can delete whole shares. So just deleting this folder here, we'll delete the whole of the movie share and everything in it. Now normally this isn't something you can do from a normal share or from Unraid, so use root shares with care. Don't go deleting whole shares by mistake, especially something like the app data or the system share that has important system files in and you could actually break your server by deleting those shares. Ok so a root share is a really useful tool to have, but now let's move on and look at another way of moving data on the Unraid server using something called Midnight Commander. But hey now, because I've decided to cut up these videos into multiple parts, then I'm afraid you're going to have to wait till the next part of the series to see how to use Midnight Commander. But don't worry, that video is going to be uploaded within the next 24 hours, so you won't have to wait very long. But for now, if you like this video, then please hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. And to all of my Patreons and supporters who are watching, thank you so much guys for all of your support, I really appreciate it. And if anyone watching would like to join those great bunch of people and help support the channel, then please see the links in the description below. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next...